What's up, everyone? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com. And today, I got the Geek Vape Aegis Legend Kit. Yeah, that's right. This is the follow-up to that bulletproof OG Aegis that you saw everybody throw around, you know, put it on the water, drag it behind the car. This is the Dual 18650 follow-up. It's shock-resistant. It's dustproof. It comes with the Aero Mesh Tank. But make sure you watch this whole video because I'm going to go over some things later on after we come back on top that you're not going to see any other reviewer cover. Okay, so make sure you watch the whole video. It's a kit. Let's not waste a lot of time. Let's dive down right now. All right, everyone. Welcome to the download portion of this video. Today, we're going to be doing the Geek Vape Aegis Legend Kit 200 Watt Mod this is a follow-up to that awesome 26650 mod they made that was basically indestructible. Let's take a quick tour around the box. There are some of the specs. Pause it if you want to read it. Here is your scratch and check and your barcoding. Let's open this up and let's see what we got. All right, here is your full kit. You get a spare glass included in the kit. You also get a spare coil. 0.15 ohm, good for 60 to 80 watts. One thing I really like about this coil, it's marked NI80 on the coil. Nice job on that Geek Vape. Nice wicking ports over here. You can see four coils over there. Plenty of cotton. Really, really nice coil. You also get a flat type micro USB cable for charging and updates. We're going to go over that later though. A bunch of spare O-rings and a 510 drip tip adapter. And some spare plugs. This plug is for your USB port on top that I'll show you later. Here is your aero tank. On top we got a goon style drip tip. All my other goon style drip tips fit fine in there. Top is just a regular screw off top. It's got that half a twist thing that the Zeus tanks do. Just give it a half a twist and it's on and off. Nice job on that. We have some nice fill ports right here that will accommodate most juice bottles with a needle nose. Bull nose bottles will probably be a little messy. Okay, so just make sure you make a note of that. Love that half a twist. I think that's an awesome feature. On the bottom, we have dual airflow slots, Cyclops style, very, very airy. Stoppers on both ends. Whatever you adjust on one side happens on the other. We do have a little bit of black on black aero branding over there. Not too intrusive at all. On the bottom of the tank, we have some aero branding with a serial number designed by Geek Vape. Gold plated 510. Insulator ring around it. Stainless steel threading around everything else. In order to access your coil, you simply twist the base off. The coil screws directly into the chimney. You'll notice I have a juiced up coil because I only have one. This is the mesh coil, good for 30 to 90 watts with a best of rating of 60 to 80 watts. Have to say, really been enjoying this mesh coil. They did a bang up job on it. Again, they marked the material on there as Cantol 0.2 ohm coil, mesh coil, great, great coil. Definitely been digging it. In order to install, the coil, you just screw it back on to the chimney like so. In order to fill the tank up, you take that half a twist off like we showed you before and you fill it up through there. Let me show you how to fill this thing up. Juice we're going to be using today is Johnny's Juice Vanilla Custard. If you have not tried his juices and you're into custards, you're crazy because this guy makes some of the best custards on the market. Slip the nozzle in there just like that. Fill it up. Take your top cap and give it a half a twist on. Now you put your drip tip on and you are ready to vape. Here is the Geek Vape Aegis Legend. Loving this anodized red around here with the black leather and the red stitching. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Has a rubberized body like this. One thing I that kind of bothers me is this this whole thing right here 
on both sides kind of flaps open if you want it to you know I'm hoping that doesn't come apart over time on top we have four star screws holding everything in place a couple of little recessions here around the top plate you have a gold plated 510 connection which I would call a stiff and short throw stainless steel threading around here this is your USB port right here it's got a plug on it so in order to make it waterproof you simply push it to the side like that to reveal your micro USB port that is for charging and updates I have tried to update this thing on three different computers for some reason none of my computers will actually recognize it it's one of the most frustrating things I ever experienced really really upset with it I've also heard of other people that have actually bricked their mod by updating it and it's a real shame because the update is supposed to fix the battery life on this so geek vape you really need to put out some type of update that allows everyone to update because that is absolutely ridiculous and it's gonna be a con looking at the rest of the mod on the bottom here we have some venting we also have a very solid battery door you got to push down and over it's spring loaded and it pops up on its own you can see those battery indicator markings on the bottom plus and minus in red and blue I like that on the door itself you have gold plated button style contacts with plus and minus indicator markings I wish they were done in a different color down below there are gold plated spring loaded battery contacts right there you can see them they are spring loaded in order to load your batteries in positive side over here negative side over here you push your battery door down and push that tab over just like that in order to seal everything up just in case you do drop it in water one two three four five clicks turns the mod on beautiful color screen very nicely laid out mode wattage battery life resistance volts amps and puffs right there in order to access the menu system hit the fire button three times now you'll notice my power is lit up I can switch between TCNI TCSS TCTI TCTR TCTCR there's my wattage curve right there I can go into bypass mode and back to power mode hit the fire button again and it brings me down the coil and I can lock or unlock my resistance hit the fire button again and I can clear my puffs hit the minus and the fire button and that allows you to adjust your screen brightness but you got to keep holding the fire button hit the plus and minus button and it will lock the mod you can still fire it but you cannot adjust the wattage but it still fires hit the plus and minus button again to unlock it and now you can adjust your wattage up and down wattage scrolls and 0.1 watt increments all the way up to 200 watts it does round robin and once it gets going it does scroll in one watt increments but it has to speed up in order to do that that's it everyone that is the whole kit and caboodle on the geek vape Aegis legend kit let's cut back on top let's talk about it we're gonna vape on it cons and pros and then we're out of here see you back on top all right everyone we're back on top with the geek vape Aegis legend kit comes in a ton of colors red azure rainbow navy blue green silver orange snakeskin camo and black it's not as tough as the original uh aegis geek vape will admit to that it's not as drop worthy as that one the including tank has good flavor the tc after the update is actually pretty decent the tank comes with two coils with a 4 ml capacity let's talk about the update okay battery life on this thing if you get it before the update you know before the 1.2 version update the battery life on this thing is horrible do the update and the battery life gets better and so does this the TC the problem is if you got a Windows 10 machine 
you know, a, a, a laptop or a computer that's running Windows 10, you're going to have a tough time updating this thing. I had three different computers that I tried to update it on, would not recognize the device. So I went around. You guys know I'm big on the forums. I saw a lot of people were also having the same problem on the forums. Geek Vape is on the forums, and they know about it, and they're not doing anything about it. So I contacted Geek Vape. Took them four days to respond to my email. Not impressed, Geek Vape. Not good. Not a good look for you, okay? Took them four days to respond to my email. You know, they did offer to put in a ticket. They wanted me to video everything and all that nonsense, right? So, I, you know, I just spent 70 something dollars on your kit, and now you're asking me to do work. Kind of ridiculous. It should just be a receipt, and you should just say, hey, what's wrong with it? We're going to fix it. But no, they wanted, they had all these requirements, you know, film it, all that nonsense that all those Chinese companies do, right? And then the last suggestion was, hey, Jack, try a Windows 7 machine because we know a lot of people are having problems with Windows 10. And I'm like, really, man? So you guys know that there's a problem and you're not fixing the issue. First of all, I don't understand why all these updates have to be so complicated to begin with. I mean, you had a company like Oventy. They did the Vega, right? That thing was a plug and play. They're a company I've never heard of, but they developed a system where I can just plug my mod into the computer. If there's an update available, it automatically puts it on. All I got to do is hit the start button. Why can't every other company do that? Absolutely ridiculous. Geek Vape. You need to get on your horse and fix that update because there's a ton of people that are having problems with updating this mod, and it's not right, especially for such a big company like you. I'm calling you out on it, all right? Let's get into the official cons and pros. First con is going to be if you don't do the update, your battery life is terrible. We're going to give them a con on that. The tank is a little loud, but the airflow is smooth, but we're going to give them a, a con for the tank being a little loud. TC is definitely on the cool side, but with the update, it gets better. But I'm still going to give them a con because the TC could be better, all right? And this thing only charges internally at one amp. I'm going to give them a con for that. Let's get into the pros because there's plenty of them. Even though I, even though I, I gave it to them a little bit on the, on the update stuff, this thing's got a lot, a lot going for it, this kit. It's pretty bulletproof. We're going to give them a pro for that. It's nice looking. I like the look of it, the red and black. That's a pro. Form factor, feels great in the hand, pro. Great color selection, that's a pro. They centered the 510. I like that. That's a pro. The tank is compatible with Baby Beast coils. We're going to give them a pro for that. The airflow is smooth. That's a pro. It's got a nice capacity, right? 4ML capacity. That's a pro. The tank actually matches the mod really well. I'm going to give them a pro for that. Bottom airflow tank, that's conducive to flavor. You'll get a pro for that. Mod fires fast, pro. It's a rough and tumble mod. You can bang this thing around. I kind of like that. Pro, not much bigger than other dual 18650 non-rugged mods. So I'm going to give them a pro for that. The battery door is really solid. And the screen is colorful and bright. They'll get a pro for that. Big shout out to my boy, Anthony Vapes. He provided this to me for this review. Him and I are very good friends. A lot of times if he gets something that I don't get or, or I get something that he doesn't get, we'll send each other stuff. I love having a friend like that in the industry that I can bounce things off of. So thanks a lot, Anthony. We're going to have a link down below as to where you can buy this kit. We'll also have a link to our forum, vapinginsider.com forward slash forum and hey man like i said before anybody can do a review that everyone likes we're going to do the review that you need to see the real world type of review used by a real world vapor you're not going to see anybody talk about the update on this none of those promoters slash reviewers are going to talk about the update problem you know why because they didn't use it long enough they used it for two three days and it went on the shelf that doesn't happen here. So make sure you give us a thumbs up, hit that sub button, hit that notification button. This way you know every time we drop a new review, we're going to see you on the next one. You guys keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.